look at that definition. Can you guys see that? With grease. With grease. Look at that. What's up, guys? Today, I'm going to be doing a braid out, and I'm going to show you what product I'm going to use for that braid out. Blue Magic Grease. That's what I'm going to be using to achieve my braid out. And let's see what it ends up looking like, okay? Okay, uh, just to show you how I got my hair to this stage. Um, a couple of days ago, I did a twist out uh, where I used some temporary color on my tips. And the products that I used for that twist out were as I am products. I used the um, leave-in and I also used the double buttercream because my hair wasn't dry, kind of poofed out so I put it up in a pineapple for um, like a day and so I decided that I want to restyle it I wasn't gonna you know do the whole wash routine because I only had put you know those two products in and a little bit of oil so what I did earlier was I sectioned my hair like this and um, it's in about yeah, eight sections. And I it was kind of dry, so I spritzed it with water first and I worked that through really good. I just rubbed it through and you know twisted through with the water first. And then I took maybe like a nickel size uh, portion of the as I am leave-in and I rubbed that through as well. And then I took a nickel size a uh, dab of the double buttercream from as I am and I rub that in then I twisted it back up like this in a loose twist and uh, I like to pin them up like this and then I um, put on my uh, plastic cap now I like to do that because my hair is low porosity and with me doing that, um, it allows the products to absorb into my hair by, you know, getting a little heated, you know, under the plastic cap. It just works better for me. Um, and I, I find that helps with not having the products just sitting on top of my hair. Now, um, I did do some light detangling. And I am a finger detangler. Okay. So. And I think I will probably be um, having it in these sections that I have here. So, so let's use Blue Magic. Now, my mother used Blue Magic on my hair. I don't remember how much she used. So, this is going to be trial and error. I don't want to use too much because I don't want the greasies. So, I got about that much. Now I'm just going to see how it feels. But yeah, um, you know, a lot of us, our parents used grease on our hair back in the day. And, you know, just thinking back on it, you know, I, I remember my hair, um, my hair was in pretty good condition. I'm going to take a little more for the ends. Okay. I do not want... <laughs> to be too much to, I am curious as to how this is gonna look 
So I'm rubbing it through all the way to the ends. And I might use a little more of maybe the leave-in on the very ends. I might use a little more to leave in because I think I'm just going to twirl, twirl those. Okay. 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 Let's see how it goes. Separate it. Try to get it three even sections. And now this, um, you might be able to see it, this leave-in color, it seems to have <laughs> moved up in a, throughout my hair. I'm not going to do it too tight because with it being a little moist at the root, you know, um, it may draw up and feel more tight. But once I get past that point, I am going to braid it more tight. Make sure, try to keep those three sections separate. I hope this turns out nice. This looks okay. And go all the way to the end. Put a little this leave in to help me get a little more moisture at the ends when I twirl. Okay. And maybe a little more grease. A little more grease. Twirl it. So we can have a nice little curl on the end. And and you could put rods on the end, but I don't want rods. I don't want to sleep in rods. So if I get a nice little twirl, I'm happy with that. It looks like I got a Piece of hair that keeps catching. Probably need to clip that off. Yeah, if I if I see like a, a extra long piece like that, I clip that off. Clip that off. Okay. Uh, that's a nice little twirl. So that's what I'm gonna do throughout the rest of my hair, good or bad. I'm gonna come back and let you guys see how it turns out, my experience using hair grease after all these years. So stay tuned, be right back. Okay guys, I'm back. Um, I've had my braids in for my braid out for a whole day. And so this would be technically, um, I guess, day two, if I had to took them down um, the next day, this would be day two, but I didn't take them down. I kept them up. One, I want to make sure that they dried and I have about eight braids and uh, let me show you what they're looking like. Um, so it's been braided for a day. Let me take it down. And um, I usually do twist outs because uh, the braids take a little more time. You know, the twist out, you can just twirl it and it's untwisted. So most of the time uh, I have twist outs way more than I have braid outs. But uh, it's coming down pretty good and pretty nice. What you guys think? See that definition? 
Looks pretty good. So far, so good. Let's see. Okay. That's what it's looking like. It is dry, thank goodness. So that's what it's looking like. Grease. It, it feels moisturized. So that's the definition I'm working with. And again, I have um, eight braids in my hair. Um, I am not a person to uh, do a whole lot of little braids nor twists. So I usually say that mine are chunky, chunky braids, chunky twists. So, so I'm going to um, finish taking my hair down and I'll come back and let you guys see how it turned out. Stay tuned. Hey guys, I came back on case uh, somebody wants to see how I unravel it, but I know most of you guys know how to unravel. I try to, you know, see where it naturally, you know, wants to separate. And um, as far as um, definition, which I think this is a really good definition with this um, using this uh, grease. But uh, as far as uh, uh, my preference, uh, I'm fine with, uh, you know, having definition and if if it ends up getting a little frizz to it, it's fine with me. To me, it gives your hair, you know, more dimension if you got a little frizz mixed up in there. Not just looking all like a cookie cutter. Looks more, more natural to me. That's just my preference. I know some people are uh, different. Some people like, you know, total definition from root to tip and, you know, what I always say to each his own, <laughs> to each his own. Okay. Don't know how I'm gonna style this yet. Don't know if it's gonna be a part in the middle, on the side, but, uh, this is just how it's looking like um, with the initial separate. Now, you know something I always forget to do and I see some YouTubers do when they um, separate it and see how these ends look a little frizzy, they, uh, they twirl it on their fingers. And it does, it does help, help form that curve. Some of them, some of them you're not gonna get back like, this one doesn't look like it wants to come back. This one doesn't look like it wants to come back. But I have seen a lot of YouTubers as they unravel, they twist the ends. I always forget to do that. Just to kind of reinforce reinforce the curls on the ends. That's why they do it. Because as long as you got, you can have frizz up in here, as long as you got those curls on the end kind of intact you get where where this for days like now what what i'm gonna do is um like for tonight i'll just put this up in a pineapple and it's going to expand and grow and to me right now this is kind of flat <laughs> like i said i i welcome a little frizz because you know it gives you more um, uh, volume, volume and depth, which I like. Who doesn't like that? Yeah, I'm kind of a, a, a big hair, big hair girl, big hair girl. So now guys, this is just with me doing that initial uh, separating. What do you think? And this is how it looks. I think the grease did a really good job. 
What do you guys think? I think the grease did a good job. This is just for the part in the middle. If I wanted to take it over to the side, which is, I, I go back and forth, but I think I think I may wear the side more, but I, I do go back and forth a lot with my middle and my side parts. So if I did it on the side, shape it a little, and see the good thing, I'll you know, do my edges later. And sometimes I do my edges, sometimes I don't. I let them be. <laughs> I let them be wild and free. But yeah, so you can, you know. And I always use my fingers, guys. I do have a pick around here somewhere, but I rarely use it. I always use my fingers. Oh my goodness, I am liking this, y'all. Look at that definition. Look at that definition. Can you see it? Yeah, I do need to adjust some of these edges. Slick them down a little bit. A little bit. But, um, yeah. Yeah. Look at that definition. Can you guys see that? With grease. With grease. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah, I will have to shape this up some more. But yeah, these are my initial results with grease. Now, yeah, I feel it on my hands. I do. You can see it on my hands. I feel it on my hands, but. It's okay. Yeah. So what do you guys think? What do you guys think? How you think it turned out? You like? I like. Okay, guys. So um, put on a little makeup. Uh, this is my final look um, with my braid out using hair grease uh i think it turned out pretty good try to slip down my edges a little bit there and fluff it out a little bit more i, I keep you know pulling it trying to get a get a little length but looks like i'm causing frizz doing that but um like i said um i like it using grease who would have thought i have not used hair grease in so, 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 so many years. But um, it did give me good results. Uh, I'm interested in seeing how long it'll last. So what do you guys think? Please uh, let me know what you guys think. Subscribe. You know, I, I want you guys to come back and see other videos. And by subscribing, you'll get a notification when I upload new content. So with that... Thanks again for stopping by my channel. Till next time, see you later. Bye.